a 74-64 win that helped snap a three-game losing streak for the Scarlet Knights. What has been a tumultuous beginning to the year at four and three. And with the mismatch there, it's an easy lay-in for Amori. Getting dribble penetration and dropping it off for Cliff Amori. That's two big-time possessions in a row. Three-pointer cashed in for Coleman Hawkins. And rebound belongs to Omar Payne, who's come in off the bench for Illinois. As Coburn has taken a seat, as well as Hawkins. Right back the other way, and into the action to Monte Williams. When Illinois and Rutgers get together, it's a war. It could be a grinder, and so far, that's what we've had. Plummer fakes his way into a good shot, and knocks it down. Plummer looked inside, Coburn was fronted, so he takes it himself for an easy lay-in. Mulcahy went to the bench, he had a quick conversation there with Carl Hobbs, one of the assistants, because he just got called for his second foul, but as we showed on the replay moments ago, that foul really should have been on Andre Hyatt. Frazier deals back for Hawkins, the double team comes immediately, Plummer was waiting, he zips it to the corner, and that's a really good look for Grandison. Robbie, his touches here in the first 10 minutes have probably been lower than they'd like. Can't argue with the score. Jacob Grandison, who's now seven of his last 11 from three, just drills it. And Coburn goes out right over the top of Harper for the alley -oop. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Frazier says, why not? Coburn, one dribble, and two. Illinois without Andre Curbelo once again, but also Paul Mulcahy stricken with two fouls, and he's come back into the game out of this timeout, yet the three-point barrage continues from Illinois. It doesn't feel like Rutgers is getting anything out of their offense. As well as they executed against Clemson, it's been a struggle here. Grandison with an open look from the corner. Did a great job defending in one-on-one -on -one situations here tonight. Mulcahy drives, and is rejected by Payne! Shot clock violation. He doesn't even have to touch the ball, which is really dangerous when your best player doesn't need to get a look because everybody else is playing so well. Gonzalez, A.G., and answer at the other end. Throughout several Illinois possessions. Now, most of those have ended in made shots, sometimes three-pointers, but certainly understand. Now as they get him the ball, that's the easiest make of the night. With the missed games earlier this year from the NCAA suspension, Hawkins faces a rejection in turn as he's done to several Scarlet Knights. It's off of Illinois and Rutgers ball with a minute two and a half. Brian Fonseca from NJ.com. We have finally solved the mystery of the pronunciation of the big man's last name. There's two for Mo Mori. Brian Fonseca spoke to Muhammad Oliver, Cliff's guardian here in the United States. He's originally from Nigeria. Bob on the back side goes to Hawkins. And this has been two years in the making, <laughs> so maybe you do. This has been this has not been a week-long issue. It's been a two-year issue. Hey, you know what? Little Mori coming out and doing some good things for Rutgers. Right? Coming off a possession where they gave up a wide-open lob to Coleman Hawkins. Just a disappointing first half in an effort perspective. That's a lot better by Caleb McConnell. Two points in the first half. This, this is the guy that's really improved from his freshman to sophomore year. What has not improved is Rutgers closing out on shooters in the second half. Jones late on the rotation and nobody home for Rutgers. On the drive, Coburn with the rejection. Hawkins has it, feeds forward Frazier. Kofi Coburn doing a great job of protecting that paint. Mag for three. Energy has been decidedly different from the Scarlet Knights, and the urgency of getting down the floor has been there as well. But they're still not able to stop DeMonte Williams. DeMonte Williams looking for his offense tonight, looking for his jump shot coming off and drilling the pull-up. Jones put on the line. That's two. Okay, he got all the way to the basket. Oh, my goodness! Amori just stretched out. That was like a Space Jam stretch <laughs> right there. Wide open look. Frazier can't Mag wanted to feed Omori. He wasn't there. No idea who that pass was to. 
So he was a problem for me. I really struggled with when Chester Frazier was on the floor defensively. Bruce Weber, a big fan of yours, said after the game, we just thought that Robbie was the key to them. But Chester's our best defender. Okay, he some displacement. And an easy breakaway. Plummer with the left hand. Regrettable losses this year. Losing to a low major in Lafayette. Mid-major in UMass and the bottom-ranked team in the Big East in DePaul. You look at Rutgers playing here tonight. They got Purdue next week, and then they go to Seton Hall. And that's a huge stretch. You're, you're trying to find some quality wins because the NCAA tournament has become... ...would thought he might be missing six guys who could play. This is a total laugh. Play from behind. And do it well. And there aren't a lot of guys who match up well. Seven foot two eighty five. Coleman Hawkins has terrorized Rutgers on both ends of the floor tonight. Hawkins blew right by Mulcahy. Gets it back at the top of the key. And it's scooped up by Amore. That's where Coleman Hawkins needs to grow. Make a good play. Make a play that makes you shake your head. There have been a lot of those tonight. Jaden Jones. Really promising. I don't know if you're a math guy, Robbie. We both know that's three more there for Plum. At times, the help defense hasn't been there at all. But I think at the same time, this Illinois team is built around Kofi Coburn to really shoot the ball. And they, they have exploited it all night. The 12 year anniversary of the night that Jersey Shore debuted in 2009. What a stat there. Impressive. You big Jersey Shore guy. So now it's four minutes to go. Plumber just off the mark there. Oh, Plumber is happy to clean it up. He's got 13 points. Go to V.org. My cousin's Robbie Hummel, the final minutes of a dominant Illinois performance here this evening. Dean Reber, you know, it stinks to say it, less about team in recent years and more about what their career is going to look like. Three-pointer for Luke Goody. And he was letting Kofi hear it going right at him. And this wasn't so much a talent disparity, just as much as it was energy, enthusiasm, and effort. No, and I think a, a, maybe a little bit of a lack of knowing the scouting report, poor execution. Ben Bosman for Don Coleman Hawkins, the front court of Illinois, has dominated Rutgers. And it's numbers for Illinois. 86-51. This game was close at 8 to 7. And then never again. Illinois will improve to 6 and 2. And Rutgers is back to 500 at 4 and 4.